In the early 1700s, a scoundrel roamed the Caribbean seas. He was one of the most cunning and deadly combatants of all time. In one corner of the ring, we have the pirate! And in the other corner, a nobleman from the 13th century. His honor and courage are among the highest in history. Introducing the Knight! These two fighters lived at separate times, but if they were to meet, who might win in a battle to the death? Tonight, it's Pirate versus Knight. Our fight tonight will be taking place on the coast of the British Isles. Pirates like to travel to different islands on their ships, so we're going to have our pirate come into the Knight's territory. We can find our Knight training on the coast while our pirate is scouting out the area for his crewmates back on the ship. He's looking for a place that his crew could hopefully loot and set up a base for a couple of weeks if need be. But instead, he finds our knight preparing for his next battle. The knight immediately notices the pirate and knows he's not from around here. His guard is up automatically. He senses the pirate might be dangerous. Our two fighters are face to face. They're both fully equipped, but with what exactly? Let's take a closer look. Our pirate is coming into this battle with his trusty cutlass. This blade is about two feet in length and relatively lightweight, which is perfect for short distance combat. But that's not the only weapon the pirate brings. On his holster, he has the blunderbuss. This short range shotgun packs a devastating punch by scattering lead balls. For this battle, our knight's primary weapons will be a shield and broadsword combo. The broadsword can slice up nearly anything in a single blow due to its weight and the power behind it. If things get a little too close for comfort, he's also carrying an emergency dagger. Due to his more versatile options, the advantage here goes to the pirate. Now let's get back to the fight. We see our fighters continuing to square up. The pirate has more maneuverability and goes in for the first strike. But as he hits the knight's armor, it looks like his cutlass bounces back and it barely makes a dent. The knight looks stunned for a second, but quickly recovers. Now, why was the knight able to withstand such a substantial blow? Let's take a closer look. The knight has plated armor forged from iron. It offers protection from long swords as well as archers, and underneath the plated armor is the knight's chainmail. It adds another layer of protection and provides flexibility. All of this adds up to an extra 50 kilograms of weight. And the pirate is walking into this battle with whatever he's managed to loot over the years. In this case, it's some scrap leather. Although this is sure to help with agility, he doesn't have much protection. Because of this, we're going to be giving the armor advantage to our knight. Now the pirate has the weapon advantage, but our knight has the edge in armor. Who might emerge victorious in our battle? We come back to our warriors in the middle of their battle. The pirate is still surprised his cutlass couldn't damage the knight and knows he'll need to think of something better if he wants to win this battle. The knight runs at the pirate and goes in for a strike, but misses due to the pirate's speed. He swings so hard his broadsword is now in the ground. The pirate strikes the knight in the back of the leg where the chainmail is exposed. The knight looks to be kneeling on the ground. The pirate goes in for another strike, but the knight blocks it with his shield. The knight gets up, but is limping. He gets rid of the broadsword and takes out his dagger. The pirate approaches the knight again. The knight blocks the saber and slices the pirate with the dagger. The pirate is hurt, but it's nothing he can't handle. The knight sees an opportunity to go in for the final blow and runs at the pirate with his dagger. The pirate whips out his blunderbuss. Oh, he pulls the trigger and shoots the knight. 
The lead pellets have managed to make their way through the armor. The knight is on the ground, begging for his life. The pirate chooses not to listen. He takes off the knight's helmet and goes in for the final blow with the blunderbuss. And your winner is... The Pirate! So, although the knight was well-trained and came with proper armor, the pirate's advanced technology is what gave him the edge to win. Who might we have face off next time? Maybe a murder hornet versus a bee. We'll see who wins on the next round of Versus.